Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all keeping well. Well, another week, another game, and nearly I was I was thinking it was gonna be another ball draw. Flipping heck, 86 minutes before Derby scored, but more about that in a minute. Yeah, just gonna go over the game again. Uh, Derby County, another ground I haven't visited before, so that was great to go there. I've been there in the past with Dad to watch West Ham. Like a lot of the grounds up here in, in the East Midlands, I've been to watch West Ham play back in the you know League One and League Two days. But um, yeah, so it was great to get there again. Um, great to meet up with John Hobley. And uh, before I forget, I'll pop an image up now that John got of me, <laughs> pulling my best game face. I did post it on the Facebook page, but I think I was cranking right round on the 400 to get um, one of the brief images where the ball was being placed for a corner. So yeah, I cranked it right round and John captured me with my nice gurning face. But yeah, thanks for that, John. <laughs> but no, great to see, great to see, great to see you, John. And uh, yeah, job's a good one. Right, without further ado, let's jump into the laptop and go through me set quick. Right, as I always start my sets, as I've showed you, nice generic one of the ground of Pride Park. Quite like this because you can see, I chose this corner because as you, as you can see, obviously you've got the Rams and Derby. So instantly you know where I am. So that was nice. Now incidentally, I've just spotted, you can see my stool and I'll just show you it. So let's just zoom in there. There it is there, look, there's me Mini Max. And you can see roughly where I like to set up. So around the 18 yard line area, because if you get any celebrations that stop here, I can quickly zim there and get them face on. Or if they run past me, you can get them running past you and jumping up. And if they stop there, you can zim to there. You can also go round quickly if you need to. So it gives you lots of options if you're setting up there. But um, that's it if you can move at the ground, obviously. Next week, incidentally, I'm at, back at Leeds United again, Leeds against Watford. So I'm fully aware now that I'll have the one zone and I'll stay in there for the whole game. So, so yeah, I'm, I'm uh, ready for that this time. But fingers crossed we'll get some, we'll get some goals. But uh, anyway, so that's the generic one. Another generic one of the programme, just to show who's on the front cover and that. And incidentally, whoever's on features on the front cover, I do like to then try and follow them through the game a bit. Just in case, you know, if you haven't got time to look in the programme, might be a story on that player. So, yeah, always try and get a few extra of the, the player that's featuring on the programme for obvious reasons. But, uh, yeah, another one of the ground. Just just because I haven't been there before, I was just getting some shots for myself. I did some stock imagery. Again, I went outside quick when I was waiting for the coach to arrive, the Portsmouth coach to arrive, um, and shot just a generic one of the stadium, just to look for, look for somewhere which says we are at Derby and then just some fans arriving way before the game this quick walk round another fan he didn't even know I was there I crept up on him and he didn't even know I was there I was ready to say what I was doing but he never even spotted me he was that engrossed in his in his phone but uh, yeah and obviously you got Pride Pride Park Stadium here and then the players in white so I thought that was quite a nice pre-game pre-match shot of a fan um, this is John Harley I think it is Assistant head coach for Portsmouth, just signing some autographs again. Not photographed him before, and he gave us a nice smile. So nice pre-game shot of the Portsmouth players and, and the coaches arriving and greeting their fans with some autographs. Now these are quite interesting. I always try and get a nice low down shot with the stadium seating in the background of the visiting players on the pitch gathering, inspecting the pitch as we call it in the captions. One of the one of the managers, I'll come back to that in a minute. And then I quickly, if I can, if I've got time, I head up into the stand so that I've got a nice high angle to get the backdrop all grass. And with these wearing black, I thought it'd, you know, they'd, they'd, it'd emphasise them quite a lot. And they were just walking back towards the dugout. They'd been inspecting the pitch and I thought that made quite a nice shot, just something a bit different. So you got black on black there and then the black and the green. So I thought that was quite nice. The Pompey... I, it's it's interesting when I did my team sheet, uh, my squads. I obviously said Portsmouth manager, but he's not. I think quite a lot of managers in EFL are actually head coaches, so I had to change that on my on my team sheet. So yeah, that's the Portsmouth head coach. Again, that could relate to several stories. He stood on there on his own. Just I don't know what is it. What's he got there? Is some sort of I think he's got his notes, has he or? 
looks like notes let's have a look come on definitely yeah it looks like some sort of notes look 16th of the ninth so I can't really read what that says but yeah, so he stood there contemplating the game, how he's going to play it and whatever. So that was quite a nice shot. And then, now this was interesting. And incidentally, I didn't send this because I'm not keen on players' backs mainly. I've said it in the past, but this was the referee, um, Rachel, uh, was it uh, Rebecca, Rebecca Welch. Uh, really good to photograph her. I've not seen her in action before, so that was good. She came out and greeted the Pompey head coach. Didn't send it because I don't like her back, even though I can see... And this was a bit tricky, this this set. I sent that one because I know you can see his back, but looked like they're having quite an in-depth conversation. So I sent that one off pre-game, just of having a chat on the pitch. And then a bit of warm-up. And then when I was looking at this later on, I noticed, just for future reference for you guys, if we can zoom in, is it going to zoom in? Always try and keep an eye out for tattoos. And I wish I'd followed him through the game. Because that looks like quite a good tattoo. Just makes something, it's just a bit different, you know. Um, you can get a lower, you know, a player's tattoo or on his thigh. I know one of the Bournemouth players once had Carp DM. What Carpe on one leg and DM on the other. But uh, that made a nice shot. But um, yeah, always look, look for tattoos. They make nice images. But uh, yeah, I missed that one. But yeah, a bit of warm up. And then I went to the dug out for the manager's handshake and if you can just hose the managers down here he is here look oh sorry there's my phone need to put it on flipping silent um yeah hose the managers down for stock and again this could relate to several stories bit of reaction dejection could mean anything thinking you know thoughts uh, you can put any sort of caption to that and again it's just good stock so I've got that and just for once i've got a good handshake of both head coaches and i'm finding I always used to kneel down for handshakes so I could get up, make the, the managers look quite powerful. But I've been fine, I've been getting blocked a lot. So I've started standing up. Not as good an angle, and they don't look as powerful, the managers. But you often get a better shot. So I've started standing up for handshakes now. And uh, yeah, you get what you get at the end of the day. It's such a melee at the start of the, at the, start of the game. So yeah. Um, interesting, this was... Uh, Again, bit of a generic shot, but all the teams, there was a, a minute's applause for the British Red Cross this weekend. So I made sure that I got one of the teams clapping. I did get a widey as well of both teams clapping and the man and the, the referees and the assistants. They were both applauding as well. So made sure I grabbed that just to just to send off. You never know. Here we go. Kick off. And this was about, what time is this? 13 minutes past three. This player... Uh, Pompey player got whacked in the head by the ball stayed down they made sure he stayed down and then I just wanted to get this for a bit of stock um, head injuries are big in the news at the minute aren't they especially in the rugby world so made sure I got the doctor just holding his head just for just for one frame just as a bit of a stock stock he ended up he was all right in the end again look at them tattoos they look fantastic but uh, yeah I made sure I got plenty of Rebecca Welch plenty of stock um, obviously trying to get that EFL and the uh, the uh, EH game, uh, e, uh, EA Games logo on the shirt. So yeah, plenty of, uh, uh, again, you can keep that at full or they could crop in, do what they like. But had to go on the old pan blur. I've got that as a second lot of settings. Uh, safe shift, went through that briefly in the last video. Just hit my AE back button. It slows everything down. Quick quick pan if I've got some players running across the pitch and try and get something like this. Just something a bit different, just to add to the set. So, yeah, I was quite happy with that. Good jostle. Always keeping an eye on the dugout. And uh, this was the uh, Derby head coach looking a bit... Well, he was definitely reacting. I think they just lost possession or missed a, a goal and opportunity. I can't think now. But, yeah, I was just, just kept an eye on him. Just to, uh, and there he is again. Again, that could go with any story. If they'd got beat, that would have been a good picture to use. Or, you know, all that one. So, yeah, always keep an eye on the dugout. And then, what time is this? This is quarter past four now. And I'm thinking, crikey, this is going to be another nil-nil job, isn't it? So, I was just trying to get as much action as I could. Um, that was quite interesting. Got the EA, not EA Games, EA Sports and the EFL there. But also, you never know with the communications, VAR, sometimes their headsets fail. So I thought when he looked down at the... He was just he was just overseeing a corner. Thought, I'll try and get his headset. And he just turned, managed to get his headset. So that could be used 
for an image at some point. And I've also got EA Sports and EFL, so quite happy again. Again, just a generic shot of one of the assistant referees, but uh, yeah, that works quite well. And obviously you've got Nike there as well, because they're all in the Nike tops. Again, another brief image. Sometimes, I well, I, when, when this is just before a corner, all the players jostling, and you quite often see too much jostling and yellow cards come from this. So I always like to try and get a bit of jostling pre-corner just to um, show what's going on in the in the five and the, in the 18 yard box pre-corner just it just adds to the set again uh, more action and um, nice clean backdrop on this one which was quite nice so yeah a bit more action more of the ref again this time nice nice shot of the EFL badge there and she's obviously giving the thumbs up and I've got the mic so that was good and then oh these haven't quite come down in come in order Derby on the 86th minute got a penalty. Now, I made a bit of a mistake. I got off my stool and I went almost right next to the goalpost because I thought I want to try and fill the frame with him taking the kick. Now, even on the was I on the one on the 1DX, I only managed two frames of the ball being kicked before the ball went out of frame and I was kicking myself a bit. And I've got one, two, three players here and there was about another two or three players here. I think in future I might move there so you can get the ball being kicked towards you to emphasise the kicker. But I'm going to go at a wider angle, I think, a, wi a wider, wider frame, if you like, wider composition, just so that you've got the ball travelling a bit more. Because I say I've got one there, just pre-kick, one there kicking, and then I could have just done with his leg being a bit further out and getting the ball here on the third frame. But yeah, so just bear that in mind. Bit of a mistake from me there. Just give yourself plenty of room. You can always crop in on these on these digital bodies, can't we? And uh, yeah, probably got a bit greedy on that one. But yeah, so he scored the penalty. 86th minute, 1 0. I'm thinking, yeah, and he celebrated in front of me, melee there, and then he really give give it to the fans. And I'm thinking, yes, here we go. It's what I've been wanting all game. Really punched it, punched the air he did, got him smiling. And then what happened? Seven minutes later. In the 95th minute, Pompey went up the other end and made it one all. So all that was in vain. I thought, oh no, I'm not going to see anything used now. But yeah, it was number nine. Um, just managed to get it in in frame, but the ball is just bulging the net here, look. Uh, number nine scored. I didn't think it'd be used, but I sent it anyway. And then he did a, a bum slide there. Nice bit of reaction there, dejection there. And then the Pompey players, I think he's obviously appealing for offside. Now, what is funny, I showed Rach earlier when I was looking at this. Look at the fans. Look at the... <laughs> you got fingers there, finger there. And I think there's two more lads here, look. I love looking at the fans. Bit of dejection there, look. Oh, no. It's always good looking at the fans behind the players. But, uh, yeah, we've got some more shouting there, look. And, uh, oh, there's something else going on there. Another sign going on there. But uh, he's giving it what for there, look. But uh, yeah, lots of dejection in the crowd. But uh, yeah, that was that. I sent that, but obviously it's not going to get used really. But that's more for dejection in the crowd. While that was going on, I saw the ref and the goalkeeper having a bit of a set to. And turns out he got a yellow card uh, straight after the game. It was almost... I got this frame and then I saw the ref uh, move, moving towards the keeper. So I quickly moved on to the keeper. He's giving it rock all there. Obviously giving her some, some jip. Yellow card straight out. So uh, yeah, just try and keep an eye on everything that's going on. Now because I only got this frame as a celebration. Quickly worked out who had scored. Bishop thinks Bishop. And then I followed him back. And luckily... Because the Pompey fans were the other far far side corner, there's oh before I followed him, look, so I followed him and he gave a nice a nice uh, fist clench and you know yes to his to his travelling fans. Um, I quickly zoomed in on the fans just to get a bit of reaction from them and spotted this fellow here. We know took his shirt off and he was swinging it. So yeah, and obviously look, these are giving giving uh, the Derby fans a bit of jip just. Just to my right, so that was a bit of a another generic shot of fans, but but uh, yeah, it's always good to get him cheering. And then just like that, got got him, which was I was happy with that. 
full-time whistle went and it's handshakes so yeah it was an all or nothing game trying to get as much action as I could and then that was that looking for a bit of dejection and um, managed to get a bit of one of the Derby players here and uh, and then the Pompey manager to finish off or head coach to finish off so yeah another one of them games a one-all game but uh, yeah plenty 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 going on in the last 10 minutes, but uh, hopefully I'm at Leeds, yeah, I'm at, like I said earlier, I'm at Leeds versus Watford this Saturday, and hopefully we'll get more of a balanced game with a few goals, like in, you know, 15, 20 minutes and things like that. Touch wood, let's hope so. Anyway, fingers crossed we get a bit of a better game, but uh, anyway... As usual, guys, leave any comments below, and uh, it's always great to hear from you, and if you need to know any settings, I do leave all the settings here so that you can you know pause the video and have a look but uh, yeah if you need to know anything just get in touch and I'll get back to you as soon as I can if you could remember to give the video a like that would be much appreciated really does make a difference if you uh, give the video a like and uh, yeah it all adds up and uh, really appreciate your support like I said but um, yeah next video I think actually last night we had the Northern Lights uh, over North Lincolnshire. I think most of the country saw the Northern Lights. I did a quick video on that, so uh, that'll be the next video coming up. And um, I've also, after I got, but we, Harry and me went to uh, RF Waddington last night to uh, to video the and photograph the F-18, the Canadian F-18s that are in for minute at the minute from uh, for Cobra Warrior exercise, and they were night flying. So yeah, so there's plenty of videos coming out. But uh, anyway, jobs are good. And Leeds versus Watford this Saturday, and uh, that video will be up next week. Have a great game tomorrow, lads and uh, lasses, and uh, catch up next week. Thanks for watching. Take care. Catch up soon.